Here. You owe me some money. What? You never gave me the money for that car stereo. Oh, that. Well, I didn't try without you. Why are you being like this? We just want me money. Yeah, and you'll get your money. When I'm satisfied with what I'm buying. Now, come on, ow. If I lose my temper. Lose your temper. Lose your temper. Get out. Get the fuck out of our tail. I'm on you. Get out. Get out. Get out. Now. Look at what you're after doing now. I hope you're happy. You okay? Yeah. What are you doing, my son? What are you doing with him? Letting him mill all around the gaff on his own? Where was he? He was out playing with the traffic. He could be dead by now. We made a mistake. We should never have given Harriet that money. My own fault. She was just so fucking gorgeous when she got going. You know what I mean? We need that five grand now. What? Ask your elf for the cash. Use the funeral fund. Rob a bank. Do whatever you have to do. But get me that money. For your own sake. See ya. I never laid a finger on Harriet. What? We didn't have sex. Upstairs or anywhere else. I never touched her. Not that she would have, I mean. She never shut up about you. I was coked, man. I bullshitted you. Pressure points. Fridge. Me and you and Harriet, we were mates once. Do you remember? Petey? Uh-huh. Can I ask you something? Sure. What do you want from life? New drunken. Ever diligent. But really. To be free to do what I want. What's stopping you being free? I'm well, the old man, I suppose. Not yourself. What do you mean? Is there anything you want to do that your old man could stop you doing? you really wanted to do it? Sure. There's plenty of things. Like what? Like going to college. So he's paying most of my fees. College? Of course. To be fair to my old man, he never made me do anything I didn't want to do. You're stubborn, all right. Well, friends are more important than family, aren't they? I mean, you choose your friends, and they don't really give a damn what you do. Yeah, I suppose so, Paul. Is everything okay between you and Rena? You tell me. I thought the pair of you told each other everything. I thought so too. There's one image he can't get out of his mind. Three schoolgirls pass him. Faces and bodies completely burnt. They hold their arms out in front of their chests. Their hands pointing downwards. 
from their bodies. Something like paper is hanging. It's their skin, peeling off and dangling from their limbs. They stagger through his memory like sleepwalkers. You should have known I was coming along. You should have known they wasn't going to stop me from finishing this right. Ain't no one here to help you long. And the Lord surely ain't looking to save you with all you done in all your miserable life. Well, no. I don't even think you believed in the Lord long. Well, you can pray now, but he ain't going to save you. Honestly. What are we humans but blood and guts? Worms in your head. No soul except the one that's already sold to the devil. It's best we die long. All us. There ain't no love or no good. Only who can kill who. And them's that survive are the ones that set the law for God and man alike. They's the kings that rule the world, and madness they kingdom. This time equals you death. Listen to the birds sing. Hey! What? You're not taking that into the lift. We have to. The stairs will kill him. 